from homesteading to cooking to heirloom seed saving to prepping. We are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're looking at storing stuff for long term. Today I got a great deal on beans 27 cents a pound. I had a coupon and two or three things and, and it wound up being coming out to about 27 cents a pound. And rice. Got a great deal on rice. Uh, it wound up being like 26 cents a pound. So you can't do better than that hardly. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to store this for long-term storage because I bought all they had. Uh, now I don't store this. We could pop these in the freezer. Okay, we've got freezers. Uh, matter of fact, we have four freezers and we could just pop these in the freezer, the rice, the beans, both, and they would be just fine in that freezer for five, six, seven years, whatever. But they would take up a lot of freezer space. <clears throat> well, what I can do, what I've been doing for years, is storing things in mason jars. Now, you can't store everything in a mason jar. It has to be dried. It has to be totally dry, too. Because what we're going to do, we're going to vacuum seal this mason jar without heating it. Uh, we're going to use a vacuum sealer and vacuum the mason jars. Uh, and just so you can hear, this one was done. This is a Cherokee Purple Tomatoes. We do this with these. But now this one was opened already. I did this one just to show you that you don't have to use new lids. You know, I've got new lids, but I've also got old lids. And you can use either one for these jars. This was an old lid that I sealed down this morning. It'll be just fine. Uh, I'll let you hear when I open it. Let's see if you can hear it. Well, come on. I use the other end. Do you hear that open? As long as these lids aren't bent up, they'll do good. But now we had already opened these Cherokee Purples. I just sealed them this morning just to show you that they will seal with these old lids. We'd already opened this one, but there are, are like nine jars just like this down in the pantry that are sealed with no ring on them. We put a ring on them. When we open them and bring them up here, <clears throat> we store them just like these shuck beans. These shuck beans, no ring. They're sealed. You can press that and it's uh, sealed solid. So let's talk about how we do this. Well, Crystal and I uh, have a vacuum sealer. There are a bunch of them out there. But we've got this one. Uh, what we have here, we've got a, uh, I don't even remember the name of it. Uh, it don't even have a name that I see on it. That's good. Well, it doesn't matter. It's a V150 series uh, vacuum sealer. Now, Food Saver makes these makes these jar sealers. Now, this is for wide mouth jars, and we keep them in the boxes because it's just the easiest place to keep them. And to always see what they are. So we've got these, and uh, the way they work, <coughs> excuse me, the way they work is you take a jar and uh, a lid, and it, like I said, it doesn't have to be new. For me, it doesn't matter whether they're new or not, as long as they're not bent, and as long as this seal looks like it's still okay. So we use those uh, used lids and these lids too for storing this stuff. You can't store stuff that's moist. Uh, you're going to vacuum out all of the air. Not all of the air. You can't get it all out. But you will create a negative vacuum uh, enough that these lids seal down, and they seal down pretty tight. Uh, that takes care of if you have bugs. If anybody's ever stored beans for a year and just left them in the package a year or two, this baby will fill up with bugs. Now, it's not that the bugs get in the package. 
They were there to begin with, okay? These things have bugs in them already. The bug eggs are already there, so don't think for one minute that these are sterile. They're not. They don't sterilize them. Bugs are in there. So when you're going to store these, if we vacuum seal, that'll kill off the bugs. So let's uh, bring you a little closer and show you how we vacuum seal stuff. Now sealing these jars is relatively simple. The adapter has a gasket that sits down on the jar. Uh, we put two cups of rice in a pint jar. That's enough for a couple days for me and Crystal. Then you just put on the lid. Uh, you can use a new lid, an old lid. Uh, we've been having some trouble with the lids, but we found out that the website for the for the uh, thing recommended you put one lid on top of another, and so you have two lids, and it seals better. And we learned that it did do that. But you turn that on, you turn on your your vacuum sealer, and it takes a few minutes. And you'll notice it draw down that lid, and then at the end. It will let off the pressure, and when it lets off the pressure, you can hear the the jar vacuum seal. So then you take it off, and most of the time the little thing just comes apart, and then you take the gasket off, and then what holds on, and it's sealed and ready to go in the cupboard. So it's a real simple, simple, simple process. And you can use old and new lids. They both work equally well. You use the same process for pinto beans that you did for the rice. Now, a quart jar holds about one and a half pounds of pinto beans. Uh, that's enough enough beans for me and Crystal for a couple of days. And if you add potatoes and stuff like that, probably three or four days. Uh, it takes it a little bit longer to suck the air out of the jar. Of course, there's more air in the jar. So it takes it a little bit longer, but it sucks it down does the same thing. Again, it doesn't matter what type of lid. You can use the plane. And sometimes it even comes off clean without it coming apart. So that's all there is to sealing these things. And that's shelf stable for years. Uh, I've got, uh, so far, I've got 12 jars of rice done. That's 12 meals. Well, really, this is three meals of rice for me and Crystal. Uh, so with 12, I've got 48 meals for us of rice. Uh, you put that with a jar of tomatoes or two and some shrimp or some crawdads or uh, some sausages. You've got a meal for three days. So then the beans, of course, I've got to, so far. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got half a dozen. Uh, jars of beans. Now, each one of these jars is uh, one and a half pounds. So, th what they'll do is Crystal and I will put one and a half pounds in a crock pot and we'll eat on it for two or three days. If we have potatoes and, say, sausages and kraut or something like that with them, then it's probably three or four days. And if not, then it's probably two days with just cornbread and say something like pickles. So now how long will these keep? These will keep, uh, according to the literature, these will keep up to 30 years. Uh, we've taken the air out. Any bugs that start, they're gonna suffocate to death. So don't have to worry about bugs. Uh, don't have to worry about moisture. This is a sealed container. You know, you saw me open that a while ago. Uh, so. You don't have to worry about uh, bugs at all. And really, that's the only thing that's going to make uh, stuff like dried beans and rice and that kind of stuff go bad uh, is uh, bugs. Now, there could be a, a bacteria, but these are good and dry, so you don't have to pretty much don't have to worry about that either. Now, as far as did I sterilize the jars? Well, no, I washed the jars well because the beans themselves are not sterilized. Uh, the same way with the rice. The rice itself is not sterilized. The jars were washed good. Uh, sometimes I use old lids. Sometimes I use new lids. You know, here's an old lid right there. Here's a new lid. You never know what I'm going to use. If I've got enough old lids, I'll use a bunch of them. 
Uh, I tend to use those things with old lids first, but I've had a problem this year that I've never had before. This is the first year that I've used the 18 month uh, new lids and uh, they don't want to seal. It takes a while to, uh, to get them to seal. Sometimes you'll go through a box and then go through it again before you get them all sealed down. So it's, uh, it's a little tough to get these new lids to seal with this, but uh, I'm not going to complain too much because for a very small amount of money, we've got lots and lots to go. And I've still got what, let's see, a little bit there. And there's at least three and three, six, seven more jars to go of beans. And then the rice, I've probably got another dozen and a half to go, 18 jars. So I'm going to need to get at that. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, this homestead and do-it-yourself kind of stuff, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead and prepping stuff every week sometimes five sometimes one video just depends on what's going on in the homestead so now with that being said it's time for me to get on to the next thing